Welcome at Smile with a whole nother look. I told you I got more than one. So my video got cut short because I record on my cell phone. And so my recording capabilities are limited. And I thank you for bearing with me. But I'm not going to give up. The messages will come through. So I hope you enjoyed the whole um, nostalgia because I was nostalgic. And uh, not everybody was born in 2000. So it feels a little surreal, 2022. And I know what it means because we are in some troubling times. And uh, there are portal years. 2020, definitely. 2022, definitely. And um, from 2020, for the next four years, the transitions, the energy, the choices that we live out will determine <laughs> a great either <laughs> graduation as the humane beings that we are into another pinnacle of existence for the humane beings or it's going to be a black hole where the humane beings that are left will no longer be able to exist in this existence because we're outnumbered. We, I include myself, we are outnumbered. And that's why I have Welcome at Smile so that my humane beings can wake up, shake it up, speak up. Don't become a part of, well, that's just how it is. Or, I see the problem, but I won't address it because of whatever possible outcome I fear. <laughs> right is right and wrong is wrong. <laughs> and you come from a divine force that will not let you down even when we let ourselves down. So, lyrical inspiration, yes. Again, YouTube. So, if there's a commercial, bear with me. I don't have the copyright.
was a little bit of my Afro Latina vibe. Yes, I love it. So, you got some of the lyrical inspiration, some of this frequency, and um, I bring it to you all because I'm not perfect. I'm perfectly imperfect as my creator designed. I'm not criticizing those that alter their body. But, um, out of all the ways I could show my, erratic, non-conformist behavior to my creator. Cutting, adding, altering what was given to me for oohs and ahs by a man or society will not be my thing. Now my tattoos, my artwork, and my canvas, that is forever. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of my writing cause I just, I have this urge to do so. I've been wanting to publish my writing for many, many, many years. Um, I didn't make it a priority um, for a long time because my priority was selling drugs. Um, survival. Travel. You name it. Um, I've changed consciously, subconsciously, physically. My discipline, my heart's desire, my soul's undeniable purpose has created change in me. And I'm thankful for it because I no longer live in a material world and I'm not a material girl. I never was, but um, I was very prideful in my belongings. And now my pride doesn't come from what I own. It comes from being who I am. And so uh, I got to share my writing because <laughs> the time is now. So one of the books that I was writing at one point uh, was titled Pinnacles to Infinity. A pinnacle is to reach a point, a high pivotal point, uh, whether it be geographically, spiritually, physically, but a point of climbing to the next level. Infinity, forever. So, top peak points to your infinite soul. And um, it started with threes because numerology is real. And so I wrote it in sets of threes. Um, three essential things that I know gave me past, present, and future infinite pinnacle abundance in my soul. So, one, being in one's nature, meaning your natural state of Creation, not what your parents 
desire you to be, not what your professional title depicts as your persona, not what is expected of you based on where you were born, your economic status, your sexual identification, but being true to your nature, meaning regardless of how you're treated or what is said about you, are you living for the fulfillment, the solidarity, and the preservation of your eternity? Because whether you know it or not, whether you recognize it or not, your soul is eternal. And that's why I call them brainwashed, deaf, dumb, and blind, because they have no recollection of being here. They have no memory, no discerned wisdom. There's intelligence, there's smarts, there's wisdom. Wisdom is God's grace on your eternal DNA. Yeah, these are facts. <laughs> um, people can become intellectual. You can be smart. Wisdom is granted, preserved and carried with one soul. So, when you stay in your nature, you keep your wisdom through your recycling eternal existence, which is why Angela, Miss Aviation Divination, can bring you welcome and smile with the conviction of what I'm saying to you being the truth. If you guys remember, I created acronyms for nature and it goes something like, um, I have more than one version, but um, the foundation of your nature is necessary in alignment Hold on, I gotta find this because I read this to you guys and what it says here, I've changed it so many times. Bear with me. Remember, I told you guys my writing has been stolen, right? So, I'm looking in, remember this? I'm looking in there for my acronym for staying in your nature. But, the rough version is necessary alignment tuning to tune in, reflected eternally. And in the one that I read prior to you in my prior video, it's um, necessary aligning tell a, tell us something. Tell a, oh my God, my vocabulary. Uh, I don't like to say wrong things, so I just, I'd rather not say it to you. But um, please, Go back into my videos and uh, find the acronym for nature because uh, clearly somebody fucking stole it on my book, but um, <laughs> it's still my acronym. God put the truth in me and uh, no matter how it is taken, stolen, misused, <laughs> it doesn't change the truth.
Mm -mm -mm. So sad how people can steal even the writing of someone else. Bear with me while I flip through these pages, and I do apologize for not being better prepared. But, um, my uploads are not scripted. Yeah, somebody definitely stole it. But um, I've already shared it with you, which is the beauty of it. So there was two words, something with a T that I cannot pronounce very well because um, I don't have it in front of me to read it, to pronounce it. But um, basically is to choose the outcome that will have the best outcome for the greater good of all outcomes, meaning not just you, but the ripple effect. Everything coincides. Everything has purpose. Everything affects everything. Even what you do not see or understand to be affected. So, on that note, the truth is needed in everything, meaning the truth is necessary within you. You have to be truthful with yourself. Can you do that? You have to be truthful in your actions, your words, your intentions. <laughs> life present, your being, your life soul's existence, your eternal soul. Life as onto life outside of self. Like oxygen, love, respect, compassion, time, attentions, intentions, actions of self-fulfillment, awareness, self-esteem, esteem of consciousness. True in your words and your actions. True in pain of the truth. So when you tell people the truth, your truth, the truth of your feelings, your past, your desires, your understanding, there will be pain because your truth may not be accepted, may not be believed, but it doesn't change because it is not well received or believed or understood. It is still the truth of you. And that is how you will remain liberated regardless of what you are put through, going through, Staying true to the truth of you will keep you.
That creates growth. Hard times, hardships, pain creates growth when acknowledged. When processed and used for fortification of self, for awareness. We develop strength to be true, to remain true, to be truthful. Through faith. Through testimony of self. You develop strength when you can see what is, what could have been, and what is not, and still feel I am, and you are, you're here, you're alive. You may not feel alive, you may not feel like you're living, but you are, we are. It's not easy. I know you've heard this before. Easy come, easy go. That part. You value life and self when you can see the difficulties. So because my book has been so uh, abused, um, yeah, my writing is really not in order, but um, let me pick another. So here we go. It says, Now all of the thing that I've all these things that I've written um, are original pieces. I haven't really publicized them much of anywhere. But now I have a platform that I'm willing to share and um, welcome and smile. I hope you receive the point and the purpose and the wonderful energy. So, I write of realms of consciousness. Why? Because my eternal gifted soul is aware that there are realms, that there are plateaus, that there are dimensions, that all spirits are not demonic, that all humans in the flesh are not humane. <laughs> I've lived outside of earth, guys. Yeah, that part. Um. Yeah, unbelievable, but true. Um, so I go on to write realms of consciousness, outer spirits, energy we create, energy we receive, energy that we can feel, but do not gravitate towards due to our own magnetism, our core, what is for self and what is not of you, what is not for you. 
so there is your eternal soul and the spirit you manifest, you create, and there are spirits. Spirits can attach themselves to your flesh and your soul based on exposure, awareness, behaviors, other people's fuckery, like witchcraft, voodoo, all other types of fuck shit, right? When people do narcotics and um, they take the alignment of mind, body, and soul out of alignment, meaning no longer conscious or aware or in control of self in all shapes, emotions, physical, um, right? So getting high, smoking marijuana, that's getting high. That's, uh, it's an inhibitor that creates ease in the body. And uh, to some, because everyone has difficult, uh, different chemical compositions, uh, some people develop paranoia, etc., etc. right? So meaning every chemical has a different reaction based on the individual. So if you put anything in your body that alters your state of mind, your physical, emotional state of being, you are I'm looking for the right word. You are tweaking, you're tuning in. You are dialing in to channels and alignments and tunings that are out of self. Right. So, heroin, the narcotic heroin. It's a down for the being, which is why you see that they do this, but they never fall over. That is not getting high. That is getting low. That frequency of the state of being, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual, opens up the soul for attachments, attacks. And all other kinds of things that are not of self. Because the being is no longer tuned in or tuned on to self. They are out of self. Which is why they lose self. Which is why heroin is one of the hardest addictions. Because they lose themselves. And I'm not judging. These are facts that I know. So when people get high on hallucinogen, halluc do you understand what I'm trying to say? Hallucinogens, you know, my pronunciation. Things that make you hallucinate. LSD, acid, speed. Um, you are tuning into a higher frequency, a more rapid adrenal 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 frequency within the being within your own being which does create a higher frequency and aura essence etc i am not promoting getting high guys i'm telling you the truth about how people lose themselves or tune into themselves or have no awareness of even the tuning. You are a frequency. You are magnetic. You draw in the energy that you feed, radiate, 
magnetized into the universe. So, your soul being eternal, your blood type being a frequency of a polar. A positive, A, B, positive, negative, O, O negative, O positive. Right. Your zodiac sign. Cardinal, mutable, fixed, polars, energies. True. I want to tell you so much without sounding <laughs> unbelievable. My people, wake up. I'm here for you whenever you're ready. And she don't want to go to sleep. She's angry. Nope. Used to be. I don't sleep because I'm high frequency. And insomnia is a, a real thing when you can't turn off the mind. The body's exhausted. But the mind is diligently working. I'm going through, guys, I've shown you my notebooks. I have numerous notebooks. So this is the latest one that I've been writing in. Oh, back to the truth. Hmm. So. Kept truthful in self. Self-acknowledgement of reality. Hold on. I'm 33 minutes in. Next. 